Okay, welcome to part two of Civ 2. Let's play Civ 2 multiplayer edition gold. gold. And we're going to finish up, uh, start off actually where we finished off last time. Um, last time the audio and the video were kind of skewed. So I'm going to, well, actually I did. I altered some settings in Cam Studio. And let's continue to play. Alright, so these archers were gonna move to the east and explore along the coast. Let's take the hut with the settler. Oh, look at that. We have a tribe. Okay. So it's only 3720 BC. Um, if I waited too long to actually start up a city, like let's say in, I don't know, 3000 or 2000 BC, they actually would not give me my palace and I would have, uh, you know, rampant corruption because there is no capital but I still have a capital here now I can build a flanks which is an awesome beginning defensive unit but I'm not going to I'm gonna go with a cheaper warrior and my reasoning is this look at the the prices uh, the warrior only cost 10 shield and the flanks cost 20 and the way I play I like to amass a lot of cities and then upgrade everything with Leonardo's workshop so why pay the extra 10 shield for each city? Uh, it's going to upgrade it up to uh, Rifleman anyway, whether it starts at Flanks or Warrior. And, you know, I'm not too worried right now. I, I, I will enjoy the benefit of not having to pay as much. It speeds along the game and production. Okay, so I'm going to exit here. Okay. Uh, end of turn, press Enter. Okay, here we go. Oh jeez. Okay, so the people love me now. They want to build my castle. Okay, so over here we have a lot of choices here. Um, I always uh, try to go with horseback riding as my first uh, first discovery. Uh, the reason being because horsemen, along the same lines as warrior, is uh, the best uh, unit that has two moves uh, at the cheapest price and that's what I base it on. It's got two attack, one defense, and two move and that'll upgrade just like a knight or like a chariot or like an elephant and it's cheap. It's 20 shield compared to 30 or 40. Okay, so we're gonna rename. Okay, uh, we are BVH of the Hapa Nation and go with Maria Ozawa. Oh, she is hot. Don't kid yourself guys. She may be a porn star. She's a hot porn star. If you don't know who she is, do yourself a favor and look her up on the internet. That's how you spell it. M-A-R-I-A space O-Z-A-W-A. Alright, we're going to continue to explore with the settler. As you can see here, oh man, this is an okay starting position, but nothing great. No special resources. So we're still looking for... Uh, something with a lot of trade. Okay, so I'm going to move chariots. Uh, less talking and more playing. After all, this is not let's talk. It's not let's play Civ 2, not let's talk Civ 2. Okay, I like to upgrade my chair up to this. This is a nice throne. I probably won't be upgrading that for a while. And we continue that archer east. Now we're just going to move the settler around here to open up the black spaces around the city. Just to make sure uh, everything is safe uh, around the immediate vicinity. <laughs> Always take the hut without regret. Okay. Horseback riding, awesome. And, okay, okay. Let's put some uh, bear fur on the ground. How about that? Okay, now that I have horseback riding, uh, the next thing I'd like to pick is uh, to get to monarchy as quick as possible and that is because despotism sucks ass it is great if you want to have uh, unsupported units when your city is bigger but your city's growth is stunted because uh, there are penalties to production mainly food production from what you can get from your tiles under despotism. So under monarchy we will be able to alleviate ourselves of that penalty and also 
um, have three units supported for free, unlike Republic or Democracy. Uh, I'm not sure about Communism. I'll have to look at into that later. Anyway, ceremonial burial and code of laws are both before monarchy, so we're just going to do one of those. I'm going to pick ceremonial burial. Okay, have these archers continue west. And let's uh, try to get the most usage out of uh, our chariots uh, by staying on grassland or plains or desert. Okay. Um, oh, there's another hut. See. You go east. You take care of the. Oh my god, we have barbarians. Uh, not too worried. Usually, this early, they only give us one. Ah, oh, there it is. Just one. That's okay. I'm not racing down there with a the chariot. I'm just uh, continuing to discover. And, uh, yeah, usually when settlers get attacked and they survive, they get to be veterans. Um, not that great, actually. Really, not that great. Veteran. Settlers don't produce anything quicker, and the cities that they build are just the same. It's just that the next time they get attacked, it'll be a little harder to kill. Uh, okay, so let's keep moving. I want to clear this spot down here. Another hut. Okay, we've well built our first uh, first warrior to protect Maria Ozawa. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is usually I build a, a horseman right after I build a warrior, but I've got a few units roaming around. I'm going to go with settlers, especially with all this grassland around. Capitalize on that. And I'm going to fortify my warriors to protect my capital city of Maria Ozawa. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's see. I've got three units. Uh, Keep going down here, see what's up. You follow along the coast. Uh, more barbarians. As you can see here, uh, not too bad. I'm going to kill him, though. I wish I had a diplomat. I would buy him. Okay, there he goes. So I'm going to finish exploring this little peninsula here with the settlers, because I don't think it'll be anything much bigger than this outline right here. Could be wrong, but I'll take my chance with that. Anyway, Maria Ozawa is not in any real danger. I mean, I guess I could build a road here and increase trade, but it's early in the game. It's not going to be a game breaker. Okay. Archers, look at all this grassland. Awesome. Uh, I got to get rid of that forest square. Okay, let's see. The most advanced civs, the Aztecs are ahead of the Hapa Nation, and who cares about the rest? Okay. So we're going to continue along the coast. And while we're doing that, the city... Okay, here's another hut. Let's see what's in there. Oh man, more barbarians. Jesus Christ. Ooh. I better be careful with those settlers. Oh, here we are, the neutral Greek emissary. Let's see if they have stuff for us to trade. No, they don't. And they want to sign a peace treaty. Um, I'm going to say no. Because I don't want to ruin my reputation. And I think there's some place close. And I have enough forces to go kick their ass. So, no, I don't want to have trade a peace treaty with you, stupid Greeks reject your offer and then I will demand tribute that's how I roll okay so let's uh, keep moving I'm gonna sleep my settler for a little bit to build up his health uh, so that he's at full strength ah, stupid warriors they block my way okay you guys have pushed me back far enough. I'm going to kill the horseman. Yes. We have accepted. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Uh, since I took their tribute, I'm going to have a uh, tarnished reputation. Oh, well, I'm, I'm kicking his ass. 
All right, and let them impale themselves upon my archer. Yes, veteran status. Now I could sentry my uh, archer here to have him fully heal, but the grasslands doesn't give any kind of defensive bonus, so I'm going to move him onto the forest tile, and then I will sentry him there. Oh, three. Oh, see? Even though we got mercs from a hut, they're supported by Maria Ozawa. Sucks. But that's why, that's another reason why we do not build a, a horseman right away. Now we're not encumbered, still building settlers. And I'm going to stop here and see how uh, this video goes. Uh, hopefully the audio video syncs are not as bad as before. And we're doing pretty good actually. Lots of grassland. And uh, we'll see you next time. Alright.